From our region to yours, this is AMI Halifax. I'm Jenny Bovard for Accessible Media. Hello, my name is Dana Brown, and I'm a duty manager here at the Fossil Cliffs. We're located right here in good old Joggins, Nova Scotia. The Fossil Cliffs at Joggins, with their distinct tilted layers, are constantly being shaped by the immense power of the ocean. The Bay of Fundy tides here are everything. They're a huge part of this place. 10,000 years ago, if we were here, this would be solid sediment right over to New Brunswick. We'd never even know that the Fossil Cliffs were here. In the last 10,000 years, the bay has etched its way in here and it's given us all these new fossils. Every time this tide comes in and out, you can find something new here. These rocks and the fossils they contain are known internationally for what they reveal about the Earth's history. The United Nations officially named these cliffs a World Heritage Site in 2008. My name is Melissa Gray and I'm the Curator of Paleontology at the Joggins Fossil Institute. Joggins is a scientifically important site. It's the best place in the world to view the Carboniferous over 300 million years ago. And in particular, we've got the oldest known fossil reptile right here at Joggins. It was found back in the 1800s. We're still on the lookout for more, um, but that is a particularly important specimen because it represents the branch of the evolutionary tree that humans are part of, wherein we can escape the water and we don't need to go back to it for um, reproduction. Our guide, Dana, took us along the cliffs to show us the plants and animals of the coal age emerging from the rock. Right here, we have a sigillaria and Sigillaria was one of our biggest trees, along with the Lipidodendrons, and they were both really the same type of tree. The only difference in them, they had a different type of bark on them. And Sigillarias, they would grow just an incredible height, sometimes 40, 50 meters high. Further down the cliffs, a smooth sheet of rock holds traces of ancient marine life. Now this is what we call clam coal, and you see an entire seam of clam coal here. And it's very important too. Clam coal is a mixture of limestone and coal together. And it's also filled with marine organisms. You'll find fish teeth, fish scales, brachiopods, coprolite, which is fish poop, all through these, all through this, this clam coal that you see here. Well-known scientists have visited Joggins, uncovering the building blocks of the theory of evolution. The father of geology was here twice. Sir Charles Lyle, his, and he came here in 1842 and in 1852. But when he was walking along and found one of these sigillaria on the beach and it had bones in it, he sat there for three days around it, trying to figure out the circumstances of how that tree could be there and made a stone at the same time. Even today, scientists continue to work at Joggins, studying the unique fossil record here. They operate out of the Joggins Fossil Center, where visitors also start their journey. This building is home to newly discovered fossils, many of which can be picked up and felt. From here, visitors depart for guided tours of the cliffs. It's a green building. It's a lead uh, gold building, which means that it's an environmentally friendly space. And it looks like from the outside as if you're almost looking at the cliffs. It's tilted like the cliffs are tilted. The center is perched right atop the cliffs. You're, when you're in the center, you're not actually at the World Heritage Site, but it is the gateway. So you're just steps away from the beach, which is the World Heritage Site. Dana Brown was born in the area and would search for fossils here as a child. It was a great life as a kid. It was like a treasure hunt every day. You go out and uh, every time that tide came in and out, we could find something new or something would come in, a message in a bottle, you name it. And uh, it was a great place to grow up, that's for sure. He's dedicated to protecting the cliffs for future visitors. This holds our history and time. There's 300 million years of history here. It's all to take in and it's still coming out. It's only begun. This goes back for about 20, 20 kilometers. So there's gonna be more and more discoveries all the time. Jenny Bovard, AMI, Joggins, Nova Scotia.